In this video we will learn about one basic hardware on every radio communication system, the antennas. Every radio needs an antenna to work and the mission of the antenna is to get power from the transmitter and deliver it into the, into the air, into the media as a radio wave and also in the receiver side of the, of the system the antennas get this power from the media, from the air, and hands it over to the radio. So, antennas are nothing more and nothing less than transceivers. Before moving on, we need to have some intuitions about the most important parameters of antennas. Because antenna engineering is a very, very deep world. The first parameter is the radiation pattern. The radiation pattern tells us how the antenna behaves with the space coordinates. For example, in the diagram on the left, we can see that this antenna will radiate into this direction. And it, this antenna won't be able to receive or to transmit nothing from this direction. Also, it has some minor lobes, let's say, in this direction. So if you place yourself here, and try to transmit in this direction, the antenna will be able to receive some part, more or less attenuated what you transmit. But if you place yourself here, you will be able to receive or to transmit and be received by the antenna a lot of power. The diagram on the right, it's the radiation pattern of a dipole antenna. As you can see, it radiates the same into all the directions in this plane. Dealing with patterns in three dimensions, it's very hard. So, what we do is to take some cuts of this radiation pattern and work with them. So, move from 3D to 2D. If we look at the very, very complicated uh, radiation pattern on the left, we can see that it's almost impossible to, to deal with this one. So, what we do is to take one cutting like this, an horizontal cut, and a vertical cut like this. So, we will have the two patterns on the right. If we look into more detail to these patterns, we can see some interesting parameters. Here we can see that there is a main lobe, this lobe here. It's the most important one. It corresponds to zero degrees and has the highest normalized power. But there are also more lobes in the in the pattern. These are called the side lobes and also the minor lobes. If we look here if to the half power bandwidth parameter, this means the width of the pattern that corresponds to half the power to 3 dBs. As we saw in earlier videos, 3 dBs means half of the signal. And also you can work with another parameter which is the first null between lobes. Here you have almost a null and here you have another null. So you will be right if you say that you have more or less 6 degrees as a half power being with and 20 degrees as a first null between nodes being with. Another very important parameter is the directivity. The directivity has a very hard definition, but we can have here an intuition. This intuition for the directivity is the ratio between the best direction, the maximum one, and the average of all of them. So if you say that some antenna is not directive at all, 
you are saying that this antenna radiates the same to all directions. And if you say that one antenna is very directive, what you are saying is that this antenna will transmit its power and also receive its power into a very certain direction. Here you have, in the picture in the bottom, you have a very directive antenna. It's focused on a very narrow, uh, it has a very narrow beam. It's focused on a single direction. But if, you, but if you look at the diagram on the top, you will see that this antenna is not that directive. It's focused on six different directions. It has six different lobes, so it's less directive than the other one. Another good example is the Wi-Fi antennas that uh, are on every house and or on every office. These antennas tend to be no directive at all. This is to be omnidirectional and then they tend to radiate the same into all directions. This directivity is also inversely proportional to the half power beam width in the two planes in the vertical plane and also in the horizontal plane of the radiation pattern. The bandwidth of the antenna. Every system that we will work with in communications has a bandwidth. This bandwidth, as we explained in previous videos, it's the range of frequencies where this component works, which, has, which means having a determined performance, a desired performance. But in antennas, we have a different notation. We have two types of telling the bandwidth of an antenna. In broadband antennas, it's expressed in this way. For example, 10 to 1, which means that the upper frequency is 10 times the lower operating frequency. If this antenna is 40 times the upper frequency than the lower frequency, we can say that this antenna is frequency independent. In narrow band antennas, we don't use this notation. We, we say a, percent, a percentage of the bandwidth. This percentage is the ratio between the upper frequency, the difference between the upper frequency and the lower operating frequency and the carrier frequency or the center frequency. The input impedance is an electric concept. It's the impedance that presents the antenna to the circuit. This is between both its terminals. It's expressed in ohms and usually depends on the frequency. This is very a very important parameter because you need to take into account the antenna, the impedance of the antenna, to match, to have this antenna matched to the circuit that feeds this antenna. Otherwise, there will be a lot of losses. Examples of antennas. There are a lot of antennas all around you, so I don't need to tell you about them, but I always like to have the example of, the, of a, a common smartphone. For example, one of the latest one, the iPhone 7, has at least five antennas. The Wi-Fi antenna, the antenna for the mobile communications, the NFC antenna, the GPS antenna, and also the Bluetooth antenna. And all of them seem to be working. This in, the, in the pictures, you have also another examples of antennas. The, the one on the left is the Arecibo radio telescope in Puerto Rico, which is a huge antenna. This is also a tower. In the middle, you have a tower with a lot of antennas into it. And the third one, it's a reflector, a very big reflector. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.